Here is your real time core workout. Now this is going to be challenging, but we will definitely repeat it and see if we can improve with our abilities. So the very first exercise we're gonna do, this actually is a lot harder than it looks. Here, I just have a band attached to my uh, railing on the stairs. I'm not doing it in my gym just because I felt very uncomfortable doing it on the concrete. So if I fail, at least I have a semi-soft landing. So just go hold here. Even holding here and a lot of core, right? We're on something unstable. Here we're also now adding a, uh, an element of core with this type of hold. So you want to just keep your body nice and straight and then you're just going to lift. Ten steps per side. The one closer to the band is going to be harder. Three, abs are on. Four, keep the band right in front of you. Five. Six, keep the ball as still as you can. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Switch to the other side. Nice strong core. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. It should feel like a challenge. If not, grab a thicker band or add more tension by coming away from your band. Now we're going to work the obliques through my practice. I find that the thicker band for this one is for sure acceptable. So if you're going to get on your fifth ball, I want you to think of the size of the belly here. You're going to use the band to create more tension. So 10, 9, Eight, keep the ball still. Tension comes through the side of your belly. It won't do that if you let the ball move. Six, think of your abs, not your arms. Five. Four. Hold oh, yeah. the Three, two, and one. Make sure that last set, last rep is done properly with the same amount of work. Don't get sloppy at the end. Okay, that this one is the hardest one for me anyways. So you might have to progress to this movement. Okay, when I first started, so back leg or bottom leg is in front, you can also modify by doing this. Make sure you're on top of your ball. You want to be out here, definitely don't want to be out here. You want to be on top of it, okay? So when I first started, back leg is in front, I, I could only hold here, okay? So I'm now progressing to a row, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You really will be Tempted to be sloppy. Rush through those, especially the last few. But remember, those last two, crucial in getting through a fat threshold that we're talking about. So this side is gonna be harder, kind of hard to tell. You will find one side to be harder. 10, nine, eight, let's work, sweating, seven, Six, five, slow, 
four, three, two, and one. Remember, you don't have to do the band. You can hold here. You can definitely modify the ball. Your body has to be on the ball. Okay, you can hold here. Do whatever you can. We're gonna do this again, so you will get better. So that is the third exercise. The last exercise, we're gonna hit the lower core. Just a simple reverse crunch. So knees stay before the hips. Not like this, okay? I like to relax, or sorry, contract my head up, because it keeps my back flat, but also engages the upper or, upper core. So keep the ball still. Right? I'm going to take another five seconds. And while we lower one leg, the opposite arm is going to go down until we no longer can stabilize the lower back to the ground. As soon as you feel your lower back come off, that is your range of motion. So if they're little movements, no problem, right? But I just don't want to see this big lower lumbar off the ground just because you're trying to improve your range of motion. Progress, smart. Smartly, smartly, is that a word? Progress, smartly. Babe, is smartly a word? I don't think so. I don't think so either. You understand what I'm saying, okay? Just be smart, okay? Get rid of your ego, do it properly. If you're consistent with these, move, these exercises, you'll get better. But if you have to start with little movements, in order to keep your back flat, then so be it. Let's start counting now. 10, 9, 8, knees before the hips. 7, you'll feel lower abs, concentrate on it. 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, some of you may need a rest. Some of you may be able to go right into an isometric hold. Elbows back, space between your chin and your chest, looking up, back is flat. Extend your legs as far as you can go, if you can. If not, just hold it here for five. Breathe, four, breathe, three, elbows back, breathe. Two, release it slowly, as slowly as you can. Woo! That's a good one.